Today we'll be recapping every game at the playoffs of Saturday and Sunday. So this basically means that or all the series basically. And we'll start with the Sixers versus Hawks. Sixers versus Nets, I mean. The Sixers sweep the Nets. They are the only team to sweep in this playoffs because <coughs> sorry. Every other team has won. So that means that they are like the only team that will be swept in the first round. The Nets did do really well in most of the games except at the end. They usually are really bad at the end and the Brooklyn Nets are really bad at the end and the same they have been. They lost 96 to 88. Even while Joel Embiid, the Sixers win, Tobias Harris did really well. James Harden is not looking that bad in the playoffs. He usually is not good in the playoffs, but this year has been a little different. And Embiid does have a sprained knee, but he is expected to be back by game one or two. Next, we got Suns Clippers. Now, the Suns win this game off of Devin Booker. Chris Paul did really good at the end, too. KD did was good, too. But Russell Westbrook scoring 37 points is a... He's been a beast in the playoffs. Every game he's locked in. He's turning back to his, like, old Russ. Russell Westbrook has been really good this playoffs, but the role players did not catch up. No one really did anything. Uh, for the Clippers. I mean, Bulls Holland dropped a solid. Uh, was solid. Norman Powell was not too good. And I feel like the Clippers could have won this series if Kawhi and PG was here pretty easily. But because the Nets, I mean, the Suns bench is horrible. But right now, it's looking pretty bleak for them. It's 3-1 series lead for the Suns, and it looks like they're going to win. Next, we got the Bucks, who lost. Playoff Jimmy is actually him. Jimmy Butler scores another 30-point game, 30-point-plus game. But sadly, Victor Oladipo gets injured, which Horace Mateller tended. Not what you want. Victor Oladipo already got injured so many times. So yeah, this is a pretty bad day for the Heat. But they did win the game, which makes them lead the series in three, through three games. But Giannis will be back next game. Giannis will be back next game. And I mean, it's kind of surprising that he have a D, have a chance to actually win the Bucks in the first round if they do. That would be a catastrophic disaster for the Bucks, who already lost in the second round last year. But playoff Jimmy is a real thing right now. And I would be surprised if the Heat win this series, but if they do, that would be crazy. The whole NBA would be shook from that. I mean the Bucks, but yeah. Because the Bucks were a lot of people's champion team, but now they're losing in the first round. Next. Oh, sorry, the picture is blurry, but Warriors Kings was a really good game yesterday. Um, ABC, the Aaron Fox did get injured, however, but the Warriors barely won 126 125. Warriors almost choked the five point lead because Stephen Curry called a timeout they didn't have, and the Kings had a four point play. And then, but then at the end, Harrison Barnes choked the three as they played pretty good defense on the Aaron Fox, Draymond, and Curry. And Harrison Barnes choked the wide open three. Overall, Curry, of course, going off. The Aaron Fox also went off. Um, he is crazy, turning into a superstar right now in front of our eyes. And the Kings are back home at Game Five. They might have a big chance to win, but. This series is looking is the most exciting series of the of the um 
first round, and all the games were good besides, like, I guess game three was the worst game, but game one and four were, and two, all of them were good. Next, we got Knicks, who surprisingly com take a commanding 3-1 lead over the Cavs. Jalen Brunson in the clutch was amazing. He scored like 29, I believe, or something like that. R.J. Bear showed up the past two games. Julius Randle did not show up today, but the Knicks had a lot of good plays. Like Josh Hart had so many offensive rebounds. Mitchell Robinson did well, and they did well containing Donovan Mitchell to only, um, believe, 11 or 13 points. Although Darius Garland did really well in this game. Donovan has not been doing well since game one. Uh, so the Knicks actually might win this, but the the Knicks have been playing really good defense on the Cavs this whole series, and this game is no different. The Knicks are looking really good right now. The Cavs, however, Mobley and Allen have not been looking as well. They don't really have many offensive players. Like, when I watch their offense, it's usually just a Mitchell or Garland iso. Don't, Mobley and Allen are not really in it. Like, they just get maybe, like, the paint shots, but it's not looking good, the offense for the Cavs. And their defense is suffering, too. Allen and Mobley are supposed to be good, tall people getting rebounds, but... The Knicks have been destroying them on the offensive boards. So, yeah. Lakers-Grizzlies. The Lakers take a 35-9 to lead in the first quarter and never left after that. Winning by 10. But John Morant did score 22 points in a row and have 45 overall. He is really good, even with that injury. But that first quarter deficit could not lead them back. John Morant is... Really good though, and in game four, which is today, they might have a chance to win if John is that good. But Dylan Brooks got ejected, and all that random stuff happened. But LeBron James has been cooking Dylan Brooks, anyways, so it's not even a beef, it's just LeBron versus Dylan Brooks, who thinks he's good at defense. He's pretty good at defense, but he can't stop LeBron for now. AD did well. I saw that he's averaging like five blocks per game. Rui Hachimura has been really good this all series. And yeah, the Lakers take a 2 1 lead. Next, we got the Celtics versus Hawks. The Celtics win game four, taking a commanding 3 1 lead by eight. Jalen Brown and Tatum both had 31. And they usually win those if they score 25 plus points per game. A game. In in a game. Derek White has been huge. The whole series. And the Hawks. Trey Young did really well. 35 and 15. He is showing that he's not bad in the playoffs. He's actually... 2021 was not a fluke. He's been really good the past games after game 1 and 2. Game 3 and 4 he's been really good. Game 3, they took that win, and Trey Young was a huge part. But DeJounte hit a ref late in the game, which means he might be suspended. And John Collins has not been doing anything this series, only averaging like 7 points per game. So Celtics probably will win this. And finally, we got Timberwolves versus Nuggets. This was probably the best game yesterday of yesterday. Um... It's the first game this playoffs to go to overtime, and Jokic scored 43 points in a loss because Anthony Edwards came and showed out with 34 points and a many clutch buckets. Now, the Nuggets almost won this. They were down 12 with, like, three minutes left, and they came back all the way to win, to, to force overtime, I mean, but then the... Timberwolves were too much in overtime for them. Anthony Edwards is showing he's becoming a superstar like the Aaron Fox. He has been really good in the playoffs. He's um surpassed Kobe Bryant for the second most 
30 point games in the playoffs before turning 21, I believe. And he has five. LeBron has eight, and Kobe has four. He is like amazing right now. They could have won some of the games, like game three, I believe. They were up by one, but they choked that game away. Game one was a loss, definitely, but they could have won game two or three. But Anthony Edwards has been really good this series. Like, but Carl Anthony Towns has been not doing good. Rudy Gobert also. So, Nikhil Alexander Walker, though, has been really good. For the other side, I believe Denver will probably win this in five or six. Tim Rose could have had a really good chance if they had Jaden McDaniels and Nas Reed. Like, if they had those two players, if they're fully healthy, I believe Tim Rose have a little chance to actually beat Denver. Hot take. But, they don't have them. And, uh, it's too late. They were down 3-0. They're probably going to lose. And that's the last matchup that I need to talk about. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. We're out.